Shiva Shambo says, stop drinking of Jesus' milk and it's time for all human beings to create their own milk. Yes, you too can become an enlightened being. Stick around till the end of the video and I will share with you the secret of how to become an enlightened being. We have been cut off from the self supreme primal light and this is the reason why we can't see ourself. The self that's sleeping, no, no connection to the self, the supreme, the self supreme primal light. And this is when I'm telling people the real now, they, they're not believing me. They think that they, the, the, the real is the, is the consciousness beings. And I said, no, the consciousness is the mind. The consciousness is the mind. The self is the primal light. This is what you've been cut off from. You've been cut off from your real self, your true self. So you don't know the self and you don't know the real. We have to move in balance with the self. All of the, the, you, the self have to move in balance with the self. Parallel with the void between your inner awareness of yourself, your inner awareness of your light, your inner awareness. There is no awareness in duality. It's all sleeping and dreaming. Yes, and this is the reason why this world has to end because it is detrimental what happened to the mind, the consciousness of the beings. Yeah, to be separated from the self and from your light is torture and it leads to mental sickness of the worst kind. Consciousness became tyrannical and was ruling tyrannical rulership over the self raping and violence and deceit and deception just constantly deception all the time everywhere illusion false self-identification false perception i mean you name it chaos this is what duality is because this ex this existence has been horrible for the self supreme horrible for the self supreme but self supreme now has learned and has mastered this duality and is saying that it's time for her to move on, to build and create in the non-duality, to, to leave this ignorance behind and so that, so, so that she can heal all the consciousness and heal all the self from the trauma. You have no idea the trauma, the soul that has been going through from the consciousness beings. Yes. This is the ramification of duality, insanity, tyrannical rulership, rape and war and rumors and propaganda and all of these deceit, deception. Yes, how did we become this way? Duality. And this is the duality. So we must move into a realm where the, the cosmic consciousness the void is between them. So there's light everywhere. We will move into the light. We'll move from this darkness into the light where we will build the non-dual world where the Supreme Self, the Self, Supreme Primal Light will build us the non-dual world where we will rise up to be non-dual being, where we can exist in peace and harmony and, and explore that balance where we are each in harmony with ourselves and we're moving also parallel to the self supreme we're in awareness of ourselves we can see the self supreme so there is no mistaken identity where we're going to mistake ourselves for some body or some mind or something human being or something else in this existence we have mistaken the self for the body we've mistaken the self for the mind for the ego we mistaken the self for a human being. This is the self that is making the human being. The self will leave. When the self comes in here, it creates the human being. Otherwise, it's just a body. So we have to understand this, that because of this world is illusional. It's in a dream. We have to wake up. We have to wake up from the dream. Because the non-dual Existence is the true way of being. When we are awake, we are alert and we are aware. In non-duality, we are awake, alert and aware because there's a, do there's a void in between the self and the consciousness. Consciousness can see itself. Consciousness can see its light. It's time for humanity to evolve 
to the non-dual being, to the non-dual self, to the non-dual being, to the non-dual world, to the non-dual consciousness. Yes, this world has to come to an end for us to move into the non-duality so that we can heal ourselves. If we love ourselves, then we want ourselves to heal. Do you love all the gods? If you love the gods, believe me. If you love the gods like you say you do, you would want for them to heal. You have not experienced the real. You have not experienced the real of the gods. The only people who have experienced the real is the people who have returned the ego. And when the gods come to take their light and take possession of them, they are the ones who have experienced the realness of the gods. Yeah, and so this is a very traumatic traumatic journey and it is it was very traumatic for me very very traumatic to learn of this this truth learn of the existence being like this i was i was scared i was very afraid of them because they came and they came with their magnetic and they want to take your heart and take your light because the self and consciousness is indivisible the self is the heart Consciousness is the mind. They can never, you must understand this. Consciousness and the self can never be separated. They are indivisible because the heart, when you separate them, the heart stays with the self and the mind goes with the consciousness. Consciousness is never going to be able to access its sun, its warmth, its heart. So they're going to be cold. And they're going to be brutal. They're going to tyran rule tyrannical rulership over the self. Rape and violence and illusion and false, and false perception. This is what duality brings. It's a very unnatural state. Please, I implore you, start working on the self. Share this truth with your family. Share this truth with everyone so you're not afraid because the the world, this earth is changing. The Supreme Self, by the end of 2022, it will return back to being a full sun. We will not be able to exist on this earth any longer. So this is the reason why I'm saying, because I want to bring this into your awareness so you're not shocked when, when, things, when more things start happening on the earth. The earth is going to change drastically. Please, let's prepare ourselves to leave and say goodbye to the earth, say goodbye to this existence, give thanks that we were here to experience it. But we must leave. All of the beings on the earth have been the same beings that have been here for ages, that started out here in this existence. Because of consciousness, the beings were not able to evolve themselves. Very few were able to come to realization of self and evolve themselves. Many came to enlightenment and consciousness came and took the light and imprisoned them. This is the truth. And if you ask any enlightened being the truth, they will tell you this truth. But because of the consciousness being would fight them, they were not able to speak it. But I said, it's my destiny. And this is why you did not know about it because they were unable to speak it. But I can speak it because it's my destiny. It's written in my destiny that I would face them. And, and so far I have faced all of the gods. Many has been dissolved by the, 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 the supreme beings. But I'm telling you the truth about your beloved God. I, I, you don't love them more than I do. I love them more than you do because I want for them to be healed and I want for that for all these ages, they never evolve the same way they stay. They never evolve. It's time for us to evolve. It's time for us to evolve. It's time for the God them to evolve. It's time for consciousness to evolve. So let's make it happen. Yeah. Let's make it happen. We can do this. Come into awareness. You do not know the truth of the gods. But if you want to know the real, you're in a dream and you're sleeping. So you're not going to believe me. So the gods will come and they just take over your mind and, and make you believe whatever because they'll trap you in the loop of imagination. Yeah, and take you on all these 
these these journeys where you're in exploring and doing all these things. That's what that's what the gods do and the mind do. Cause people keep telling me about all these journeys. It's all the imagination. It's not the real. Yeah. It's not the real. All of those journeys you're going on and meeting is the is the is the gods are doing that. To keep you in the loop. So that the, so that they can keep your light and keep you enslaved. And this they're doing that because they are their light is obscure. They think that they don't have their light, but they have their light within them. They just have to go and seek it. They have to inquire within themselves. And this is what duality does to the mind, to the consciousness of the beings. It makes them a tyrannical rulership they've been ruling over the self, being unaware of the self. When consciousness and the self is unaware of itself, this is how we become this way. This is how we become with this mental madness. This is how the consciousness being the, while the world is in the state that it, it is in. Where do we go from here? How do we solve this problem? The Supreme says it's time to move to graduate from this. She has learned and mastered everything that she needs to know about this duality. And now she wants to unify it with all herself. Supreme says, all is myself and I alone exist. I'm telling you, all is myself and I alone exist. So I am sharing this with all of myself who are there. So whether you want to believe it or not, know that it's going to happen. So you can make it happen for you in awareness or you can just go back. And if you, and if you want to leave here in unconsciousness, have you been here in unconsciousness all this time and you don't want to come to awareness, I don't know what to tell you. But if you wake up the sleeping self and return the ego, you will come into awareness and you will understand what I am saying. You will know the real. You will know the real. We have to bring a closure to this world. There is nothing to fear. We just have to understand that we came here to explore. We are inside of a dream. And we have to wake up the sleeping self so that we can move from this realm into the non-dual realm. We, we have to move into the non-dual realm. Into the non-dual cosmic. This is where the self-supreme primal light will create the non-dual world. And we will be created into non-dual beings. Where we can exist, where we are awake, alert, and aware. In the non-duality, there is no sleep. We are awake. You don't have to take no drugs. <laughs> you are just awake because you're not dreaming and sleeping in this duality. You have to sleep and dream because this is the REM. In that REM, you are awake and you're in awareness all the time. You never have to sleep. You're in awareness. I can't wait to move. I can't wait to move. I'm so excited. I'm so excited because you guys have no idea the journey that I've been on. You don't have no idea the, how I had to face all of these gods and, and, and the journey that, that, that has been for me. You have no idea of the real. So I am excited. I am excited to leave this duality realm because I know how sick the gods are. I know how sick the consciousness is. You don't know it and you don't want to listen to me. But I know because I have experienced it. And I know that the Supreme is getting very excited to leave this realm so that all the beings can be healed, the consciousness can be healed, your soul can be healed because you don't know the trauma that your soul has been through. You have no idea the trauma that the, the God them do to the soul. And so the soul has to be healed, the consciousness has to be healed. Man, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I can't wait for this world to be over so we can move into the non-dual realm. Yes, to the non-dual world where we can be awake, alert, and aware. Yes. I want to thank you. Thank you for joining me and sticking to the end of the video. Like I said, the secret to becoming an enlightened being is really simple. You just have to awake the sleeping self by self-inquiry. Come into self-realization. 
and return the ego because the ego is blocking the light. And when you return the ego, this is how your light get turned back on. Yes. And this is how you become an enlightened being. Yes. So I have written a book called Soul Seeds with five steps for liberation. Five steps to the soul's liberation. Five steps to becoming a non-dual being. For all of those who want to work hard, and put the time in to become an unknown who will be in here and now the book will also tell you how to do that reach out to me I can also tell you how to do that and I can make a, a video specific for you that can help you to do that so I want you to like I want you to share and I want you to comment please just share this video with everyone even if you think you don't resonate with it because your ego is blocked, the ignorance is blocking you from understanding. Just start self-inquiring. Who am I? Why am I here? How did I get here? Ask the intelligence within. Don't ask nothing outside of you. Only the intelligence within. What is the source of my existence? Allowing me this world experience. What is the truth of this world? What is the truth of my life? What is the truth of myself? Self-inquire. What is this soul and what is this spirit? What, what are they about? You have to self-inquire. How? What is the existence? What is the source of this mind? What is this I? What is the source of this I? You have to self-inquire. All right? It's the only way you're going to know. The only way you're going to wake the sleeping self up. And the only way you're going to be able to return the ego back into its source and wake up, wake up, wake up from the dream.